Maria Mata of the Erie Humane Society is joining us today. It's one of my favorite days of the week. Yes. Today you have Sandra. This is Sandra. <laughs> Sandra, she is seven years old, a little tabby with white um, and she came to us as a sign over just from her owners, her previous owners just couldn't care for her anymore. She is like the sweetest girl. Um, she really wants to be on the floor right now. Just yes, like she running does. up on everything. <laughs> yeah, you've been in here for a little while sitting with but me she's and she's just well. had it. She wants to just get down and explore she, right now. That's what it is. Yeah. yeah, but she's really sweet. I said like I try not to pick favorites, but she's like um, people look past her just because of her coloring. So like black mm. cats and tabby cats sometimes tend to stay longer. In Why? Just I get the black cat because of superstitions, most, but yes, why a tabby? Most because it's just so common. Oh, I see. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So they're looking for the white they're cats or those caramel colored. Mm -hmm. Yep. And she is the sweetest. I had her in a room just the other day with like four different little girls, and she was rubbing up like almost like body slamming them for cuddles and everything. <laughs> but she's just the sweetest girl. What would be the perfect family or the perfect parent yeah. for Sandy? So somebody, of course, maybe that really wants a lap cat. I know right now it looks like she wants to get down, but right. just because she wants to explore. She does. Um, but she is, would be perfect for somebody who really just wants a cuddler. Yeah. Um, she would be good with, you know, we believe she'd be good with other um, with dogs if they kind of maybe left her alone a little bit, if they were independent animals mm -hmm. in the home. Maybe an older dog, not a, not a rambunctious yep. little puppy. Mm -hmm. She is really nice and she hasn't made a peep since she's no. been in here. She just <laughs> wants to get down and explore. She really does. Yeah. How are things at the shelter right now? Everything good? You have cats yeah, well. still up for adoption, but oh you're gosh, yes. you're really not overcrowded at this point, which is good news. We're okay. We are full on cats, so there is like, there's a wait list for our cats, mm -hmm. for our intakes. Um, dogs, we're doing really well. We're we're grateful for all the adoptions we've had so far this year. Um, and it's looking really well, so we're excited about Good. this year. Any already. events coming up? I know you always have yeah. a lot of great fundraising events we usually talk about. We actually have um, our night at the shelter. So we have, I believe it's 15 volunteers spending the night at the shelter on February 3rd. Um, just to kind of raise awareness um, about the shelter life, kind of when everyone's gone, kind of mm -hmm. what, the, what the, the pets kind of go through. So we'll have volunteers literally staying the night in the kennels with some... In with the some kennels? Mm-hmm. It's fun. <laughs> Remind us about that because we're going to want to be there for yes, that. Yes, absolutely. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> Maria, thanks. It's always a pleasure. And if you're interested in adopting Sandy, all you have to do is go to the Erie Humane website, eriehumanesociety.org, and you can find all the information there that you need. Yeah, she's, she's a good one. She would make a great new pet Absolutely. in your home.